I'm Pieta and I like to draw. I'm a part of many art communities online and honestly I love it here. The people I interact with are so nice and supportive and I love seeing their art. However, although I love most artworks I see, there are a few icks that just make me go... Aah. These are all subjective and personal to me. You are allowed to disagree but let's please keep it civil. And after scripting this, I realized that most of these points only apply to character art, but I think that's okay since that is what I specialize in. Okay, let's go. 1. Expressionlessness. AKA the Pinterest girl. You know the one. She exists just to look cool and not show any expression. The character just is. Maybe they're slightly smiling or slightly frowning, but it's really hard to tell what they actually think. I think it helps to have the character do something instead of just staring directly at the viewer. I don't know, it adds some depth to it. Now, uh, I'm being kind of hypocritical because I suffer from this so bad. I'm autistic and reading emotions is already hard and often it's even harder to draw them. I'm trying to get better, but most of my characters look like they're just looking at a cabbage. I understand that expressions are hard and you'd rather draw blank-faced people, but remember that in order to develop as an artist, you need to be able to bring emotion into your art. This phenomenon is heavily linked to same face syndrome, which is something I also suffer from. This leads me to my next point. Two. Lack of diversity aka same face syndrome. By this I mean that all your characters are like pretty girls with long hair and big pasongas. Now there's not anything inherently wrong with drawing pretty people, I do it too. But I've seen people online claim to be character designers while they just draw the same person with different colored hair and outfit. Again, nothing wrong with drawing pretty people, but please try something different for once. It's good to practice diversifying your work, and that's how you improve as an artist. 3. Individual teas. Dear God, please don't draw individual teas on your characters, even if you're doing realism. It does not look good, please, no. No individual, no, I don't wanna see, no. 4. Smoothing everything down. This tweet pretty much sums it up. It really bugs me when people erase every wrinkle and blemish a character has. Especially if it's fan art. The character just becomes unrecognizable when they're made to look smooth like a baby's butt. It's kind of funny too, the subject being a cranky old man and the style being skinny young boy. Okay, I still do it too, but listen. Blemishes, stretch marks and asymmetries make characters and people more interesting to look at. We all have some sorts of flaws, and if they get more representation in art, we don't have to feel so alone with them anymore. No more smooth-skinned Barbie doll OCs. Give me crinkly old men. 5. Too much blush in weird places. This is pretty self-explanatory. Heavy blush on a character's cheeks, shoulders, knees and chest. This type of art just gives me weird vibes to be honest. Too many times I've seen problematic and sus people do blush like this and it's forever been ruined for me. And last but not least, 6. Uncanny Valley. Yeah, that says it all. Uncanny Valley can be a result of trying to draw realism but failing miserably. I don't know why I chose semi-realism as my art style when it's so hard to toggle between cartoons and realism without falling into the uncanny valley. This goes back to the point I made about smoothing everything down. Sometimes characters just look creepy and inhumane without any blemishes or color. So those were some of the things in art that annoy me. Again, we can agree to disagree, it's fine if you like or do any of the things I talked about here, but let's all respect each other's opinions, please. And like you saw, I do many of the things here too, so it's okay, just try to get better, okay? And these were just things in drawing specifically that irk me. I could make whole other videos about the problems I have with being an artist and what I dislike about art communities. If you'd like to see those videos, give this one a like and comment or subscribe or something. Okay, bye bye!